it's hard for an institution to to look in that mirror and understand that what they've been doing is wrong and what they've been doing is hurtful and it it pretty much destroyed my career i i you know after i was uh discriminated against you know i didn't receive the um the assignments the plum assignments i was getting and when i confronted my managers and asked them why i was not getting these assignments i was told that i did not fit in i did not mix well and i'm a lone wolf in other words those were devastating you know to hear that you know i would have been able to understand that if they said you know something something that i was deficient in was brought forward and then give me time to address it but there was nothing i you know i'm i'm an ultimate professional and you know they just they they made way for a younger white male uh and they they had to find a way to get rid of me you know as as a bipoc employee um you don't have to you don't have to take this treatment you don't have to um suffer systemic racism or racism in the workplace you have avenues to pursue it uh I'm, I'm very very grateful for the canadian human rights commission i didn't have to pay any legal costs they had all their investigations it's you know they're the commission is full of lawyers you know that are working on behalf of people they're doing the creator's work they're helping people that are broken and are just so down and out and helpless and lonely and weak and beaten up that the commission is there to help it is a bit of a long process but in the end what i've always told myself is the truth is on my side i didn't imagine this this happened to me <laughs> and i was stunned that it happened to me from cbc